Good morning. <laughs> I'm listening in uh, stereo and surround sound here, it seems like, this morning. Uh, that's what happens when you have too many buttons and too many devices and things going on all at the same time. But yeah, that's it. Live shows, eh? It's a beautiful thing. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome uh, back to our virtual coffee with me, Frantrov. Uh, very happy again to have you here. Thank you so much uh, for your time and, and uh, you know, just for, for deciding to spend it with us first thing in the morning. So I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted, and uh, it's really special to me. So thank you very much for doing that day after day. Uh, today is obviously a, like one of those. If you see I've got my headsets on, then you must know we have a special guest. Uh, so very excited uh, for this morning and what we're going to be talking about, because this is something that I think is going to be of so much value to you, not only now during this time and maybe where we have time to sort of start thinking about our lives and, and doing things maybe differently, but in whatever stage of life you're in and in, in wherever you may find yourself, you know, from now into the future, these are things that, that are going to be very, very powerful in helping us, you know, sort of get there. And, and uh, I'll introduce my guest in a second. Most of you will, will know him, if not everyone. But uh, let, first, let me first just say good morning uh, before, we, before we get cracking here. Uh, so, Raymond, welcome back. Uh, I hope your, your uh, internet is sorted and that everything's going well uh, <laughs> on your side. Uh, Johan Westeisen, welcome back, Johan. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to label you Mr. Input. Uh, then Wilco, welcome, Wilco. I, 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 I finished a little bit late yesterday, so I caught half of your live stream yesterday. It was quite good. Well done for, for doing that. And uh, I see you get some nice interaction as well, uh, talking to your clients and all of that. So, so really well done on that. Uh, keep going, my friend. Then uh, Jaku Roots, Mora, Franco and Vessel. Mora, Mora, Jaku, welcome. Malcolm Hendricks, welcome back once again. Uh, today's a good day to break the 200 subscribers. Yes, we're so close. We're on 194. So very, very close. And, and thanks to everybody that's subscribing to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. So if you're there, go do it right now if you haven't already. And while you're there, just click the like button so people know we uh, uh, I appreciate that. Neil Stradom, good morning. Goedemorgen, uh, welcome terug. Stephen, welcome back. Nice to have you here once again. Gemotso, uh, same. <laughs> welcome. Really nice to see you here every day. And Ian, uh, welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Elmin Lotterdang, also, you're almost here. You're here almost every single day. So thank you very, very much for that. And then Mark Dunbar, uh, welcome back. Anari, welcome. Uh, thank you very much uh, for being here. Um, oh, Vaini, Guiamora, Vaini, uh, North Riding. I hope you have power, Vaini, because like it seems like that part of the valley just, just have, they don't have power that often. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, well, welcome, Bongi. Welcome. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. And um, let's get into this into this thing. Um, as you know by now, please say hi in the chat if you haven't already. You can see people are saying hi even before I ask. But um, yeah, say hi and engage with the community, guys. Um, you know, share your thoughts and opinions and, and just make sure that you come from the right place when you're doing this. Um, it's important. I want us to have a, a, a optimistic view about things and and to be positive in the way that we that we address things and that we try and take things forward. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, Terence Tobin on LinkedIn. Good morning, Renata. Good morning. Nice to have you here, Nick Decker. Uh, welcome, Nick. Uh, you you slipped a few, so now you're starting from scratch, Nick. Um, good morning, Kubis Klein. Uh, my good friends, Vessel and Francho, and fellow community. Thank you very much, uh, Kubis. Uh, welcome. I appreciate it. Slanganani, uh, Sunny Bunani, good morning. Uh, Amanda, uh, good morning to you, Francho and colleagues in the profession. Kirsty Scully, welcome, Kirsty. Thank you very much. She says, morning, Francho and Vessel. Looking forward to what you have to say, Vessel. Um, yes, absolutely. You have reason to be to be looking forward to that. Trust me. Uh, then Franz Hutton, good morning, Franz. And Neil Phillips, again, Peter Stradom, all the regulars in the house. Thank you very much. Saluomi as well. Thank you, Saluomi. She says, good morning, Franz. Yes, it gives me something to get up in the morning for. Me too, Saluomi. Uh, I was just saying to, to Vessel that, um, you know, this, this sort of gets my day going and then also sets the tone for the rest of the day. And it's amazing how much I've I got done over the last four weeks because uh, we've been busy. Tomorrow will be four weeks. Uh, Hilton Hausberger, good morning, Hilton. Welcome. Nice to have you here in, in, in the house. Uh, Ryan, Brendan, uh, both of you work with Vessel. Welcome. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, nice knowing both of you. And then um, Francis Nietling, good morning, Francis. Welcome back once again. You're also a regular. Um, and um, 
Yeah, Melissa, welcome. Happy to join for the first time. Uh, guys, I don't know if there's any of you doing your, your CFP and that. I saw Melissa created a group uh, for people who's busy studying for their postgrad, I suppose. And I know she said something about PCE and that, but she's got a group going. So, you know, if you if you want to support one another while you're studying and that and just, you know, spend some time with, with people that are in the same boat as you, then go check that out. It's over on LinkedIn. Uh, Surieta, good morning, Goeiemorgen, welcome, Andrea Haasbroek, welcome, Ronnie Els, very nice to have you back, Ronnie, good morning, uh, Hugo Blom says, morgen, morgen, goeiemorgen, Hugo, uh, Heimand, once again, my friend, welcome back, uh, and Razan, good morning, Razan, you just made it, just before I, I sort of put my phone down and, and get into what we want to talk about today, um, yeah, so, uh, once you've in the, in the, if you're in the chat, please, also then, if you're over on YouTube, um, please subscribe to the channel, uh, if you don't mind, uh, if you if you feel that you're getting value, uh, it's also then that you'll get notifications. You can switch on the notifications by clicking on the bell, and then please on both LinkedIn and YouTube, just you know, click a like button or clap your hands or I don't know, just love us. I don't know whatever you feel like doing this morning. Please do that. It it helps us uh, let other people notice. Uh, you know, people that are you also that you're also connected to, etc. Uh, so from that point, then just quickly. Uh, after this at 11 o'clock, uh, we're doing a live stream. Uh, this live stream will happen on, 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 uh, YouTube as well, but, um, we are going to be talking about all the relief measures for small business that has been put in place. Uh, my partner in the accounting business, Ida has done a tremendous amount of work to put everything together in a format that makes sense. Uh, and that, uh, we've put together packs that will guide you through whatever option you think you want to go for. Um, you know, it'll it'll set that out. But in this session specifically, we want to touch on the things that the questions that people that people's been asking and asking, and where there's there's no clarity, etc. And, and what different things mean. Uh, so from that point of view, uh, Ida's going to be with me. She's going to be answering questions, or we're going to be talking about these things. And then Sunet Brits as well. Uh, Sunet is the director and the owner of Legal Sense. Uh, they uh, one of the things that they focus on is labor law. Uh, so they're really specialists in that. I think it's the bulk of their business. So she's going to be here to also look at it from a labor law perspective. Uh, and we're going to do it, you know, you'll see that it says uh, plain language edition because that's what we do. We talk in plain language. Like I said, I'm from the free state, so I, I do that English in self-defense mode. And that's how I try and, and approach everything that I do uh, to make it understandable and, and easy to digest. So, so that's what this session is about. Um, so financial advisors, definitely welcome. And then also your business clients, please, if you can let your business clients know. Um, if you if you want to, uh, you can still register for this to get the link to the to the live stream. So uh, it's just uh, my my website franchodetoy.co.za forward slash cv19 for COVID19. Uh, that's it. You just register and then you'll receive an email with the link, the direct link. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll doing that at 11 o'clock this morning. So you're more than welcome to. To attend and also to to invite any of your of your business clients, uh, you'll also be able to uh, ask questions, etc., uh, in that session. All righty, let me just see very quickly. Uh, Adrian, you're done. Welcome, lack of Friedrich. Nice to meet you, Itasin. Welcome, welcome. Very, thank you very much for being here. Um, I am really, really excited for for today's session. But without further ado, um, you know. I think let's get let's get into this into the session, uh, and I can also already see my guest is smiling. He can't wait. He's like, you know that that that. Uh, have you seen these off-road bikes? You know when they're ready to go, and like everybody's like revving, and they they're just ready to go. And I can see that is that is ready, guys. It's my pleasure. Uh, let me just see uh, to to welcome to the show, Vessel. <laughs> Vessel, uh, welcome. Uh, let me just unmute you, Vessel, so you can say hi to the people. Nazai, welcome, Vessel. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you, Francho. What a privilege. I mean, we had a discussion last week, Thursday, and you said, please come and share it, and here I'm sitting. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's appropriate for me to mention to everybody uh, viewing us this morning that I'm not a personal coach. I'm not a life coach. I'm a student of life and I read things. I'm thinking a lot about life. And that's why I want to share today, uh, you know, and thank you for the opportunity to share. And especially during this lockdown, uh, I mean, it's, it's so difficult. And I think sometimes it's difficult for yourself as an individual. And hopefully today's session will help our friends out there and help us. 
Absolutely. Um, and I must say, if I think back, uh, Vessel, so I, I just quickly want to tell the story where um, I, I never go and introduce myself to anybody. <laughs> I'm just too shy and just too, like, I don't know why. I, I never do that. I never mind when somebody comes and says hi to me. And it's not that I think I'm important or anything. It's just that I, I get so uncomfortable if I need to go to someone and say, oh, hi. And, and, and the weird thing is if you just smile, you know, it'll, it'll be a non-event, actually. But um, I went, it was in 2013. It was in... It was in May. I think it was the 26th of May. I can actually remember the date. Um, it, there was a, an estate planning event for the, uh, one of the FBI workshops in Pretoria, and I attended that. Um, and I don't know, somebody before that mentioned to me about you need to speak to Vessel Vessel. And then when you were there, you were one of the presenters. Uh, I actually went up to you to, and I just introduced myself very quickly. And I just said, hi, Vessel. I'm French. I just wanted to, to say hello and that. And that was that. And then a number of weeks after that, I think I, I, I had the courage to sort of try and contact you and say I would like to chat and whatever. And when I come to Bloemfontein, you know, and then you actually said yes. And 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 to make a long story short, you know, we've we've met a couple of times since then. Um, and and the funny thing is, the things that I were asking you about was not the things that you necessarily answered me on. The things that you were looking at are these kind of things, you know, the things that really matters and and sort of how you go about deciding about what do you do because a lot of the things I spoke to you about was about how do I make this decision or should I do this or should I do that I'm not sure exactly what I want to do and I think yeah so over the years you know we've had many of those conversations and um, also a few wines luckily in between so so that was great and and whenever I'm in Cape Town and, and that you know we always try and see one another so you know it's not just that oh this was something interesting that I wanted you to share with people. It is because the things that you do, and as you say, it, it has a profound impact on people. Um, and I don't, and I, I really want to highlight that because I don't think, you know, often maybe people think about Vessel still as the head of financial planning law at the University of the Free State sometimes, you know, that's what, that's where most people got to know you from maybe. But um, just from my side, um, guys, I think what you are in for today, it's really going to open your mind and and and, and everything. Uh, and you may, maybe you're going to look at things a bit differently. I'm busy going through this whole process, and and Basil is actually helping me a little bit with that, because I've I found out that you think about things like very on a high level. We don't really get to the real stuff uh, down downstairs, you know. Anyway, Vessel, So that's a long story short. Um, Maybe just just quickly, Vessel, if there is anybody in the house that maybe do not know who you are, which I I, I highly doubt, but I mean, there's always uh, new people. Um, just briefly, maybe your background, what you're doing at the moment, you know, um, yeah, what what is your focus currently, uh, and then we can get into into what we want to talk about. Thank you, Francois. You know, I studied law and working for a few holidays uh, at a firm. I realized it was not meant for me. But I must say, studying law is one of the best things I ever could do. And uh, it helped me tremendously. And as you mentioned, I was involved with the University of the Free State and with the Financial Planning Standards Board for, for 10 years. And But currently, I like to try new things. I like to push myself. I like to recreate myself. And in 2016, I decided to, to join a financial planning company because a lot of people said, Bessel, you're standing on stages, you're talking to everybody, but do you know what financial planning is about? Do you know the stress that we go through? Do you know, you know what to do? To, to, tell clients and I always tell them, you know, not really. I was a legal advisor for four or five years working with financial planning professionals and financial advisors. So I pushed myself. So currently I'm a financial planner and I'm heading up a financial planning company, Francois, and I'm learning every day, you know, and, and especially during the past month or so, uh, it's my first time you know, during such difficult times and you know what we do as financial planning professionals talking i had sat the day a discussion with one of our clients uh, losing 50 percent engineer losing 50 percent of his april salary and no contributions to his uh, pension fund for the next three months and helping that client through that but luckily the planning is in place and we, we have a strategy for him so that's what I do at this stage. Awesome. Great stuff. And and that's nice. Um, you know, uh, and I think there's a lot that one learn in practice, you know. Um, you you 
there's a lot of things that we learn that is conceptual and, and theoretical and, and academic in, in some way. But once you get into doing the stuff, you know, then you see, ah, this may be a little square, but it doesn't fit exactly into the square box. We need to like shave it here, or maybe it's too small. We need to make it a bit bigger or something. So, you know, those are the kind of things that that, that I love about being, um, well, I'm not in practice anymore, but working with people that are in practice and really see how things work and 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 getting to experience these things, you know, like, because we can, I can sort of say to guys, what should you do with your clients and how should you talk to your clients and things like that. But unless I'm the one talking to the clients, it's very hard to, to really do that. And I think that's really where we grow and where we learn is when we try stuff and we have to use the things that we've learned uh, before. So, so that's awesome. So yeah, so let's get let's get into into this discussion uh, today. Uh, so let me just bring up the uh, the uh, slides and then um, yeah, Vessel, uh, guys. So so I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not going to do an introduction specific to this. All I want to say is that for me, uh, when I was looking at a title for today's show, I just you know if you look at what, I know exactly what Vessel's going to be talking about. I say exactly. I know at least what he's going to be talking about. I know exactly. But when I looked it up, um, you know, this is all about your reason for being. So I thought that it will be a fantastic thing. And that is what this whole session is about. I think in that one, ses ses uh, in that one sentence, um, you know, it says exactly what, what you can expect from this. Uh, so, Vessel, uh, take it away. Let's, let's, let's have this discussion. Thank you so much, Francois. And uh, I think some of you will be looking at this slide about the cherry blossoms and you will see the mountain with the ice it's mount fuji it's can it's in japan and you will ask now why japan and i would like to start this story just by mentioning the small islands okinawa uh, which literally means the rope in the sea and and when we're done with this Today, go and look on a map with Okinawa. I always thought it's in, in Japan, Francois, but actually, uh, although part of Japan, it's between Taiwan and between Japan. And why the importance of these islands, Okinawa? It's one of the blue zones. There's five or so blue zones. And what is a blue zone? It's where people, where the most 100-year-old people live is in these blue zones according to studies or you know and okinawa is one of these and the philosophy that i want to share today with with everybody comes from here it's not a religion people it's just a philosophy it's it's something to help us uh, to do introspection to do mm. reflection uh, and as uh, we will see from the next slide it's so important where this journey must start is with self-reflection and uh, i want to read what jack mesero said uh, by far the most significant learning experience in adulthood involves critical self-reflection francois and i highlighted this and and friends uh, that joined us today are we doing enough critical self-reflection, reassessing the way we have posed problems and reassessing our own orientation to perceiving, knowing, believing, feeling and acting. Just to give you a quick example, last uh, I sent a, a WhatsApp to Francois, I think six, seven o'clock last night, Francois, and I was quite stressed because my fiber, my internet bombed out, but I knew there will be a solution for this. But Francois, what you don't know is just after that, while I was still struggling sorting this out, I was sitting in the kitchen. It's an open plan kitchen. And my youngest daughter was preparing some uh, chicken. She was cutting, but it was raw chicken. And she's not good with blood and things that's raw. And I just saw her in front of me fainting, dwarf oh, no. on the top floor. And oh, no. we helped her, and, but luckily she's fine. And you know what? Two, three minutes later, I was sitting on this bass chair, bar stool, whatever, and it's quite high. And the thing broke, and there was Vessel lying on his back. But these things happen in life, people. These things happen. And, and at the end, we all had a good laugh after that. So it's the choices. It's the self-reflection, how we react on, on these things, Francois. 
Yeah, that's that's very true. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, but you know, life has got such a wonderful way of just giving us so much to laugh about. And at least, luckily, nobody got hurt and everybody's okay. Um, you know, but <laughs> like, how many things can go wrong in like ten minutes, right? It's it's amazing. Um, so, I mean, you're talking about self-reflection. Yeah, um, where where do we really start? Like, it's it's easy. You know, this is for me like self-awareness. Everybody says we need to have self-awareness. And those kind of things, but you know, reflecting and, and I've, as I said earlier, I've started going through this and, and and answering and using the framework that you're going to be talking about. It's not easy. So, so where do we where do we start, Francois? Let me start with this. And if if everybody's, you will say, but why is Vessel drinking red wine maybe in the morning? And that's the problem, our orientation to perceiving ourselves and other people. You see a wine glass, you see the color, and you think Bessel is drinking just after ate some wine. There's actually tea in this glass. And that's, that's the whole thing about life, is that a lot of time, when we look in the mirror, and I've got here a small mirror, and that's what self-reflection does. Self-reflection, you must look at yourself in the mirror, Francois, and you know what we do a lot of time? Our family, somebody at work, is with us in the mirror. And these people then see us, we see them in the mirror, and then we start to reflect different things. So today, I just want to share with us that self-reflection what I'm talking today about is get the people out of your mirror. Get your work out of your mirror. Get the people at work out of your mirror. Self-reflection is you. And I want to start by, are you feeling stuck? And I think a lot of us uh, feel stuck sometimes in our environment. And I must laugh. I mean, we all stuck at this stage till the end of the month still. <laughs> yeah. And but it's how we deal with this and what will happen after that. And it's to reflect on why we stuck, why do we think we stuck, and what we do after that. Also, are you doing the same old same every day and you're feeling like going in circles? And a lot of people, you know, feel that way. And it's it's important. I have because in, in, in self-reflecting, I went and looked at the definition, Francois, of work and job. You know, and it was amazing to discover the, and let me read quickly the definition of job. Job, a paid position of regular employment. A paid position of regular employment. That's a job. Mm. But let me read to you and, and our viewers' work. It's activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose result. A physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose result. So that's what work is. And sometimes we confuse our job and mm -hmm. our work and all these things. And then the last one, do you have a clear sense of direction? Do you have a goal and a plan? Mm -hmm. So that's for me important. And I would like continuing on talking about the goal and plan, Francois, and I can use the example of the yacht, the yacht on, on the sea. And you will see here, I've highlighted three fundamental facts with a question mark. A lot of us, when we think about life and when we think about what we're doing, you start with, what is my goals in life? What is my goals in my job or my occupation or my profession? So you want to know where your destination is. We're so focused on the destination, Francois, and it's not about the destination because most times when you reach that destination, you're on your way then to another destination. And we also say, but you cannot move from your destination. If you like a yacht on this sea, and you will see how small this yacht on the slide is, so small. Mm -hmm. If you don't know where you, you are at that stage, how will you be able to get to your goal? Mm -hmm. How will you be able, if you, if you cannot map your route? 
But what I want to talk today is not about this. It's not about this. It's about thinking about, are you a person that like yachting? Are you a skipper of a boat? Mm. Do you like being on the sea? Do you like going from one side of the world to the other side of the world? Because if this is not your thing, then your goals, your current situation, your route doesn't matter. So what is important, rather, is what do you do on that boat? Do you swim? Do you prepare food? Do you join with, with maybe family or friends? And that's what this conversation is about. We get so focused about the end destination and the route and so on. We forget about the small things that are giving us joy today. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, you can obviously see that I'm thinking about this now. And and um, I mean, I see, I see like the compass there in the, in the middle um, vessel where, you know, obviously you need something that is going to give you direction. So, I mean, is this where the things that we spoke about on Thursday, this Japanese philosophy, um, is this where this will come in? Um, you know, and, and, and if so, can, can we talk about that thing, you know? Um, yes. introduce that to everybody? Certainly, Francois. And I would like to start uh, with introducing this word. And it's lovely. You cannot say you pronounce it ikigai. You cannot say that without a smile. And I want everybody that where you're sitting now, smile and then repeat ikigai. That's how you pronounce ikigai. it. Ikigai. Yeah. So it's not Ikigai, you know, our Afrikaans, you know, when I started with it, oh, what's an Ikigai or Ikigai? You know, it's smile Ikigai. Yeah. And uh, this is just the philosophy. And I would like to start this philosophy by asking questions. And please, for everybody, make notes as we continue. Because after the session, looking back at your notes, that will be part of your self-reflection. And you can take it from there. So... You know, uh, if we can go to the next slide, uh, what does this word ikigai mean? Iki means life. And guy, life's worth, life's purpose. The realization of what one expects and hopes for. And, uh, you know, it's a difficult question, Francho. You've experienced now, I've sent you some, uh, you know, to come lead this and, and come back with, with three things and we will share it with everybody and, and they can also do their own thing. But mm -hmm. it's not that easy. But I think what gets you know, the, the big thing, we always start with our work environment. We always mm -hmm. start with our work purpose. We always, and money, money as reward mm -hmm. is always part of that, Francois. And, and that's yeah. a big Problem. So let's start then to ask some questions. And I will love the people, wherever you sit, wherever you stand, wherever you, maybe you're still in bed, make a note. Why are you happy to be alive today? Write one, two, three things down. Why are you happy to be alive today? You know, I don't know sometimes when I wake in the morning and I don't know, is it just my imagination, Francho, but I, I hear more birds in the morning. But we must be tuned to nature and, you know, the doves. You know, why are you ha happy to be alive today? What currently gives you joy? List those things. All of us must have one thing or two things that gives us joy today. And that's why the self-reflection starts, you know. Mm -hmm. Get those little pieces of joy in your life. And I know you love coffee. I know you went for a barrister. I don't know if it's a course or what do you call it, Francois. But, I mean, that gave you a lot of joy. I've listened mm. to you talking about that. You yeah. talk about having a cup of coffee with your wife. It gives you mm. a lot of joy. That's the things we are talking about. But we must be careful, uh, Francois, uh, in continuing about this. Also, a lot of myths around this philosophy. And um, when we talk about the myths, we must, as I've already mentioned, this term, ikigai, is not necessarily related directly to work or money. Mm. 
So don't think you will take this philosophy, what Vessel sharing with you today, and then you get to your perfect purpose with your work or how to create money. That's not what today is about. Then secondly, uh, Ikigai doesn't have to be viewed as overwhelming, all or nothing life's purposes. It's just a small tool, Fratjo, to help us think, to do self-reflection, to discover the little joys, the, the small purposes in life. And it's not, I think sometimes we make the mistake, I certainly make the mistake of think that our life is one huge purpose that we need to enter. It's all made of small events, each and every day, small things that you do for other people, and we will get to that. And then uh, you can have more than one ikigai in your life, more than one purpose. I mean, if you're just helping people that don't have money to have groceries for the next two, three weeks, what a wonderful purpose is that? Mm. That will bring joy not only to them but to yourself as well. So that's important that we look at, at, at the myths before we start. And then also is negativities around this frontier. And uh, when we look at the concept, the four circles of Ikigai, we must be very careful about the negatives. And uh, maybe you can reflect that for us. Um, so Ikigai. If we look at the four ovals, circles, whatever you want to call this, one, that which you love, that which you love doing today, tomorrow, in life. And that might change over time as we get older. Secondly, that which you are good at. And we'll come back to each of these circles and that which the world needs, that which you can be rewarded for. And... Francois, if you can continue, then we can see. Don't be very careful about the negatives on this. People can so easily say, I don't have a passion in life. I don't know what my passion is. I think then you're not self-reflecting. Then you're not thinking properly about what you love. And a passion can be something small that you're doing. And also... I don't know what the world needs. I don't know what my mission is. I don't know what my skills are. I don't know what services I can do to be rewarded, Francois. So these things we must get rid of before we can start completing this. So look for your passion. There must be something that brings a smile to you. If you do that, even if it's going outside and all right, now we currently cannot do that. Or maybe the Kruger National Park brings a smile to my face <laughs> and it's a passion for me to do some bird watching. It's a passion for me to, to write some poems that a lot of people will not know. And that's my passion. That helps me to get thinking. So get rid of your negative thoughts. And let's continue then with the first one, that which you love. Francois, and I've asked you for three things in, in, in uh, things that you love. And you came back and you said, Vessel, I love speaking. And I mean, you've got this show now, how many episodes now? No, this is 27. <laughs> 27. And still going strong. And uh, there's almost 200 people that joined us today. So you're doing a wonderful speaking to people. And then you said, you like to design, you like to create. Mm. When I look at your marketing and, and what you do, I can certainly see that. And then you love technology. You shared yesterday or the day before, you know, you love technology and gadgets and everything. Mm. And then when, so what I would like to ask everybody that joined us, write one or two or three things, that which you really love. And please, may I ask, don't think about your work. Don't think about uh, money at this stage. Just dot down one or two things that you really love, that, that, that you feel so alive when you do that. And then let's look at the second one, uh, that which you are good at. And Francois, again, you listed your yeah, problem solving. And what was amazing, and uh, I want to share 
with with you and with our viewers, if I may. I did uh, a bit of, I don't know if it's uh, trolling, watching what uh, <laughs> other people do, but I went to one or two of the guest uh, linking site, also yours, and I want to share one or two things that I've picked up. And this one said, I'm passionate about life itself. At the core, I am just a human being who enjoys the simple things in life. I believe in everyone and their goals. I've also found that nothing satisfies me more than spending quality time with friends, family, and developing new relationships. And this is coming from a young viewer, the one that you've mentioned earlier this morning, Melissa, that's mm -hmm. on her link site. And such a, long, a young person already with this wisdom. And then mm -hmm. I've looked at... at, at uh, one of our more pro and older, if I may say, financial planning. <laughs> more experience. <laughs> more experience. <laughs> and, and you're always there to support. You're always there to share. And uh, I've highlighted what, what a person said. Uh, he's absolutely committed to Chosen's profession and the advancement thereof. Quibus has built his entire career on professionalism, honesty, and integrity. Mm -hmm. That's the things we we live from. And and Quibus, you self said, a uh, mission with other like-minded financial professionals to transform our financial services industry fully. And you're part of that. You're doing that. And we will get to the mission. And Francois, you know, I've also looked at yours and things that I've picked up, things like, if something doesn't work, Francho, you say you'll fix it. And this morning you said that again to me. You also <laughs> highlight that helping people is my passion. Yeah. Helping people is my passion. And you will see in your three that you put in the first one, you said speaking, design, create technology. I did not see that. Yeah. Helping people is my passion. And that's what you're doing with these shows of you. That's what you're doing with your, with your sessions. And you also said, I've such an enthusiasm for financial planning industry that I launched a podcast, uh, Propulsion, featuring interviews with experts in the field to further inspire, to inspire, to unite, and to assist planners with skills development and so forth. And that's what this is all about. So that's skills. That's the passion. So let's look at the third one. And that is that which the world needs. And I think the mistake that we do or make when we look at this is look from the world towards our side and say, the word world needs that, so how can I meet this? I think it's one must look at it differently. It's what can I offer the world which can help the world service the world's needs. And especially in this lockdown time with your clients and what uh, what else you are doing during this time? And we, what can you offer? What is the passions, the skills you have that you can offer to the world and the world's needs to resolve some of the things there? And then the last one is what that which you can be rewarded with for. And hopefully everybody is dotting down one or two things, or maybe three things in each of these. Uh, points that I'm making. Uh, Francois, and what I thought about this, uh, we first, and I think why, where we get stuck with this, uh, is that we first think about money. And money is important. We need to put food on the table. But I've changed it slightly to which you can be rewarded for. But then we must be very careful as well. And if I may show you some of the rewards that uh, that vessel received. Now, my question is, what is the value after five, six, or seven years of this? It's standing somewhere on your shelf, and maybe only vessel know what's the reward about. So the reward we're talking about here is the reward that teaching other people. It's gratitude. is, And it can be also money. But just remember, money can buy food. Money can do good things. So the reward of money is how we use that. If you buy a bigger car, 
a bigger house? What is the reward all about? So we must be careful when we think about ikigai and when we think about reward that we don't use paid for, the services that you can be paid for, and you start with the money because then you will not get to your life's purposes. So, Francois, how are we doing for time so far? No, we're good, Vessel. Uh, there's still 20 minutes left, so I think we're doing great. Oh, wonderful. Francois, there so are, I, if I may just quickly, there are some yeah. questions that I, I want to look at the, the what's happening in the chat later on. Um, so, yeah, just so, uh, but we'll do that right at the end. Uh, so, if people uh, can't stay for longer, um, you know, they can always come back to watch that. But um, I would rather continue now with the with the rest of, of what you wanted to discuss. Beautiful. Yeah, it's not, we're almost done, and then we can maybe have a, a, a general discussion around this if there's yes. any need. Francois, if, if we look now at the whole concept of Ikigai, and we put the four ovals or circles together, what is really important here is Ikigai, is that middle portion. Uh, let me first share this with you, and I almost forgot, Francois. It's very important. That which you love, where it overlays with that which you are good at, your skills, that is your passion in life. So that which you love. So let's talk about you, Francois. You love speaking. You said design, creating technology. But let's use that one on your LinkedIn site where you said, you love to help people. And let's add that to your skills. You said problem solving, explaining, taking action. And that's why you're sitting every morning, 8 o'clock, even weekdays, uh, weekends, even Sundays, and you share your passion with us. You mentioned to me, I think, last week that you wanted to... to, to to, I think you said you wanted to work for OFM. That's a radio uh, station in the free. Long state. time ago. <laughs> Long time. That's your passion. Mm. And if we look then at uh, where your skills, that which you are good at, overlay with what you can be rewarded for, and that can be money, then we're talking about your profession. Mm. I mean, let's take our profession, the financial planning profession, and analysis skills maybe knowledge skills, maybe talking to people, empathy, those sort of things. And you can be rewarded for that. Then we talk about your profession. When we talk about which you love versus that you can offer the world to meet the world, that's your mission in life. Like whoever's your mission, one of your missions, that's, like I've said in the beginning, there's not only one ikigai is to make this world of us and help spread the financial planning profession and help other people to become more professional. That's one of Quibus's missions. And so each of you may have a different mi mission. And then when we look at the last one, that which the world needs and that which you can be rewarded for is your vocation. And it's sad to say that a lot of us spent time, Francois, in this portion, that which the world needs and that which you can be rewarded for. And, you know, you can see then you're not in balance. Then you will miss maybe your life's purpose. The reason why uh, you, you're on earth, the reason why you can make changes, why you can joyful. So it's so important that you need to start with what you love and which that which you are good on. And Francois, if you can just continue, you will see that you've waited now for me. What is this icky guy? <laughs> well, there you see in purple, it's where these overlie. That's where it is. And like I've said, it's not necessarily that your life purpose or your life being life or your doings in life is just this one thing. Hmm. You can use this for more things when you think about life, when you do self-reflection. And um, just, uh, you know, so it's important. And hopefully this will be valuable 
Francois, uh, for everybody to go through this process. It's simple. It's simple to do, but it's not so simple to complete as you've experienced, Francois. Yeah, this is like watching making coffee, as I said earlier. You know, in another episode, it's so easy to watch people make a coffee and another coffee until you have to go stand there and do it yourself. It's a completely different experience. One thing that I'm uh, that I'm just thinking about that I want to ask you, Vesel, is. The, um, I mean, this seems to be also, and, and this wasn't something that I actually prepared for, it was just something that came up uh, you know, in my mind right now, is that this seems to be a good framework as well for, I mean, journaling, uh, you know, that this will be quite cool to, to use if you are somebody that journals, to sort of use this as a thing to really get your thoughts out and reflect and do all of those things. You know, it may be a good thing. You know, you don't have to use this every day when journaling, but maybe, you know, once a month you revisit this, so that this stays, you know, at, at, at the top of your mind. I completely agree with you, Francois. And I think that's how you can use this. And, and just maybe to reflect on this as well. This specific model that's now in front of us was developed, I think, 2015 by a guy, Wynn or somebody. And he, if I may say, stole the idea from, I think it was a Spaniard, but mm. in place of the Ikigai was life's purpose or purpose. Mm. But now a lot of people started to do research on this and they've discovered that this can help you with other things in life. And you see other permutations of this as well. But like what we did for you, uh, very easy to say, to go through these four things, Francois, and to say, let's now look at the people you service. That's financial planners or financial planning professionals like myself and most of the people that joined us. That can be companies that you give training to. But then we must also realize that it can be financial services providers. Then we must also realize they can be individuals like uh, para planners or analysts inside those. You mentioned about accountants, and this can help you almost to frame out also mm -hmm. and to bring what you love, your skills, to those communities and hopefully getting to be rewarded for that. And again, saying that, yes, we need to be rewarded in money as well. Otherwise, life will be very difficult. But I think we must also be careful. Other rewards, like just somebody saying, you did a great job today, Francois. You did a great job with these shows of you. I mean, that's wonderful to hear, especially if it comes from other colleagues and professionals. So, yes, certainly this framework can be utilized in small facets of one's life as well. That's awesome. Um, Vessel, yes, I mean, we could have stopped it right here, I think. <laughs> but I want to I wanna add, uh, like, take it a step further. Like, is there, is there any rules that one could follow in terms of this? Are, are there some guidelines that's available, you know, that sort of makes this easier for one to, to start thinking about this and to start and apply it in, in our lives? Yes, certainly. And I'm now stealing this idea again from a, a book that was written. Uh, let's just say we're some, paying. Yeah, well, let's say we're paying it forward. <laughs> <laughs> some <laughs> principles, but and but I'm 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 giving the book there at the bottom, and the people that wrote the book, and they did research on. I've started this whole uh, session on the island of Ikunawa, and they went there and did research. There's a lot of research done also by a gentleman at National Geographic about the Blue Zones, about these people of Okinawa. And what they found about these Blue Zones, and especially of Okinawa, was these 10 principles. Uh, stay active, don't retire. And please, when we're done here or this evening, go in and read up about Okinawa, and you will see that these people are active. They're doing Tai Chi. They love working in the garden. It's one of the biggest things they do on this island. So they stay active. And let me remind you, most of these people on this island is 80 plus years old. Mm -hmm. Then what's also important, they take it slow. And I think in, in, in our lives, we, we've been forced the past few weeks to take mm -hmm. it slower. 
But I think it's a reminder that also going back to work, take it slow. Where's the self time, the time with your family? Uh, you know, now that uh, the economy is going bust almost and these things, and then you start to ask different questions. Uh, when the market is down, luckily if it jumped, but we don't know what will happen in the next month or so, uh, we realize there's other things in life than just work, 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 and especially if you're in a job, as I've explained. The third one is, for me, very interesting. Uh, also, they believe that don't fill your stomach, Francois. That means they they don't eat till they feel like myself, or they don't go for seconds. They eat about 80% uh, of the food they need, and the, you, you've probably listened or heard about the saying that it takes about 20 minutes for your brain to reflect that you're full now. So one of the things they don't fill their stomach, surround yourself with good friends. One of the things on this island as well that they're doing, and they've got a term for that as well in, in Japanese, mo-ai, mo-ai. That's to surround yourself with good friends. That's to surround yourself with a safety net where people talk about not only their finances, but their health and they support each other as friends, which is very important uh, to communicate with others. Like this community of you, that you give a platform for us to communicate. Then get in shape for your next birthday. Smile, 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 smile. Reconnect with nature. I love the word they use for this forest bathing. So when you go to the forest or the Kruger Park or where you like to go in nature, think about how important to reconnect with nature. Give thanks. Give thanks to your creator. Give thanks for the people helping you, uh, like the gentleman that sorted out my internet last night. <laughs> Live in the moment and then Follow your ikigai, these principles I've shared today. And that, I think this is a nice summary of uh, ikigai and, and today's discussion, Francois. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Vessel, yeah, so um, now some, and these things are very practical, you know. Um, I see there's a couple of challenges for me in this list. Um, but it's, it's also fantastic for me to note just the, the circumstances that we find ourselves in right this moment and this we're doing this in april 2020 is the how many of these things we are now sort of becoming aware of again you know that self-awareness like we're getting aware about reconnecting with nature as we said like we notice there are more birds we hear them it's like the stars in the in the evening is more bright you know, and, and is it that we're just noticing it because it's so quiet or is it because the sky is, is just cleaner? I don't know. Um, you know, but reconnecting with, with nature is happening, giving thanks. You know, I think that's a natural thing. You're thankful for what you do have. My wife and I was talking last night. You listen to the stories on the radio and people, I mean, uh, th there's a lot of things that we don't really know that people are going through at the moment. Um, you know, we don't really understand what's happening to people and we think it's still uh, over there. Um, so, so you become more thankful as you become more aware of these things, you know, uh, I think we're learning to live a bit more in the moment. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen next week uh, or, or any of that. Um, you know, so it's just amazing to see how the world or the universe at this point, you know, is, is forcing us to, to sort of focus on a lot of these things. And I think it'll be, if you want to focus on this, it's going to be easier to do it right now than it's going to be like when things return to normal. And as I said, I don't know what normal is going to be. But, um, but yeah, that's just some of the observations I think um, I'm, I'm picking up from this. Um, yeah, Vessel, so, um, I mean, this is also, you know, sort of as, we, as we're trying to wrap up just what we were talking about today, um, you know, uh, you, can, you can continue. Francois, yes. Uh, let's think about the previous slide that we've shared of the yacht, the small yacht on the, on the ocean, and the three factors I've listened or listed and maybe it's not about our current situation maybe it's not about the yacht or the money maybe it's not about our destination you know and uh, if we look at what it is about i think it's about 
creating things. I think it's about delighting other people, delighting people in your life, delighting uh, strangers, nourish, provide, teach. You know, there's so many people that's listening and watching today that's got so much experience, Francois, that they can teach the youngsters. Our youngsters needs leaders. Our long youngsters need input from us, uh, guidance, mentors. And to heal, we will say, but we're not a doctor. We cannot heal other people. You know how wonderful it is just to sit with somebody with cancer? Mm -hmm. uh, not wonderful that somebody's got cancer, but just be there for them. Hold their hands and just listen mm -hmm. to them and uh, see their tears, feel their pain and to connect. And thank you for this opportunity as well, where we can connect via you through this platform, that we can build things in life, try new things, create new things. And for me, that's so important, is nothing of this can be done if we don't have love, love for ourselves, for our creator, love for each other. I think that helps us to to be better self-fulfilled, to a better beings, to doing better things. And Francois, yeah, that's what I wanted to share with 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 everybody this morning. Thank you, Vessel. I, I yeah, I mean, I've got goosebumps where I'm sitting here, and it's not because it's cold. Um, and I've made a few additional notes now, so so I can I can some of those things I understand better. So if I can just summarize in, in terms of this before I get to the chats and, and what people are saying is that, you know, um, we need to take time to do self-reflection and we need to focus just on us and not because I think often also we, we tend to focus on the things that we think is important from other people's perspectives instead of what's really important from your perspective. And we want to like talk and, and write down the things that if maybe that we think that when others hear or see this, what they would say and think, and you should completely remove all of that and just spend time just with yourself, just be honest with yourself. And then you need to go through this process and do that and make it a process. Don't try and go and sit down the whole day and just figure this out. I would say spend a little bit of time on this every morning, take 10 minutes. You don't even have to take half an hour or something. Just take 10 minutes. If you're somebody who, who meditates or think you can maybe use this to, to do that as well. If you journal, as I said before, you can do that. Um, but I think, you know, taking time to do this and and just the, the whole framework, but then just even skipping to the 10 rules uh, that, that you spoke about, the 10 principles, you know, that's already a good start to say, well, which of these things do I really need to address and how important are these things to me really? Um, and then, it, you know, make it part of your life. Um, and I mean, if I look at the things that's here on this last slide, say create and delight and nourish and provide, teach, I mean, there's nothing in, there's not one word there that doesn't make you smile, you know? So you said icky guy, <laughs> you know, if you're like me from the free state, icky and guy, you make, you make that sort of connotation and you have to smile. But, um, you know, you look at this and you just look at these words. I mean, who wouldn't feel wonderful if these are the things that you do uh, whether you do it or whether you experience it, I mean, it's just going to bring a smile to your face. And isn't that what life is really about? It's about smiling as much as possible, you know. Um, and these are the things that will that'll drive you forward. And I think once we incorporate these things into our lives, it's going to be so much easier to get up in the morning and do the things and face whatever we need to face because life's going to happen. The ocean is not always going to be smooth sailing, you know. It's going to go uh, like, and I've been on a fisher boat uh, in the middle of the ocean where it was crazy, um, you know, so I know how it can get. So, yeah, uh, Vessel, thank you very much uh, for all these insights. I, you know, I'm, I'm keen. I want to see what people are saying uh, in the chats. I, there's so many uh, today. Uh, so let me just go through here. So just first of all, Vessel, thank you very much for, I mean, you've really, like, done a lot of work for, for today's interview and, and for this. So thank you for, for that. But, you know, just for being willing to share this on fairly short notice, I think, and also just for, you know, this came from your heart. You can just hear from the way that you speak and, and, and you know, so, so thank you very much and for everything that you do uh, for so many people uh, in this industry, but also just, you know, people who are, who are lucky to, to be connected with you. Um, all righty. So let me go through. Good morning, everybody that's there. I'm not going to greet everybody. I just want to see if there's any specific comments. Um, 
Um, I could Jaden says he signed up for the for the thing uh, mail from Ida. Just check your your junk mail as well. Uh, those things end up there sometimes, but it definitely went out. Um, let me just see. Renata says, "Great to see you again, Vessel." Um, a lot of people are saying good morning. Um, da, 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 da. Um, Kuba says, uh, Vessel has impacted on my career and life tremendously over many years. A man that has changed many professionals' lives from obtaining my CFP to working with the FBI and lately as a leader within our profession. Great stuff. Um, Peter Stratum says, how people see us and how we see ourselves are often two different things. Seeing yourself the same way as others see you is quite a challenge. Yes, uh, because I think sometimes we are more critical of ourselves and we don't really, even if they tell us things, we don't believe them. And, and even in our marriages, that, that can cause a lot of issues, by the way. So your wife will tell you, look, you look great today. And then you're like, oh, whatever. You know, but in, instead of really hearing what she's saying and really believing what she's saying and, and really feeling special when she say that, the same when a husband tells his wife, you know, you look great, um, you look sexy, you look whatever, you know, she should do the same thing and really hear what he's saying. Uh, and it's the same thing here when others are, are giving us compliments or just saying, oh, you're so good at this. And they're like, yeah, Vietnam, you know, because, yeah, so we should really listen to what others are telling us and what they are seeing. I can tell you a whole story in my life about that uh, as well. Uh, Melissa says, I've watched the documentary on the people living in Okinawa. It was amazing, their way of living and their diet worth it to watch. Great stuff. Um, Amanda John says, enjoy the little things that give you joy during the journey. Spot on. Hashtag spot on. Nohola hashtag. Um, Shlanganani says, Vessel, uh, he says, Vessel financial planning always seems that we must forget about present and think more about future. How do we change our financial planning process, which takes into account of what is happening today in our lives? That's probably a good question. Francois, we cannot in financial planning, otherwise it will not be planning, forget about the future. I think the importance and uh, yesterday or the day before, one of your last sessions, we talked about the client interaction and that's where we live today you know when your client maybe has got cancer or maybe your client's got a problem or like my client that wanted to discuss with me on good friday something and i just said let's do it on saturday and i spent an hour more and and i've prepared for him and i looked at it just sharing that's in the moment that sharing with that client that's helping their future plans as well we, we strategize. So living in the moment is because when your mind, Francois, is in the future, you cannot enjoy uh, the moment. You cannot. If you're thinking constantly about tomorrow and what you need to do or tonight or this afternoon, you cannot focus on me and you talking and uh, people viewing this. You need to be. And that's with our clients as well. So we plan for the future but we must be in the moment with our clients and, and, and be for them there at this moment. Yeah, that's a great, great answer. Um, there's a lot of thanks in the comments, Vessel. You're welcome to go and have a look at them afterwards. If you go to the video on my profile, you'll be able to see all the comments and everything there thanking you uh, for today and, and all of that. So please, um, I'm not going to run through all of them. We're going to be here <laughs> until, until Christmas. I just quickly want to jump on over here to, to uh, YouTube where Wilco Yonker says, I absolutely love the Ikigai concept. Been following it this year and slowly but surely starting to see change. Because again, it's like, it's about consistency. This is, the, this is how to kickstart my year kind of thing. This is something that needs to become a part of your, of your life. Um, Arun says, uh, thanks for answering Vessel, a great session. I will definitely look at the concept of Ikigai. And then Raymond says, thank you. This was all inspiring, a great session. Thank you guys for the comments in the chats and for all the likes and, and all of that. Um, yeah, so remember, uh, if you want to join us at 11 for the session, uh, let me know. Um, or you can go and register. As I said uh, earlier, you can uh, just simply, where is this thing now? Here we go. Um, you can just go to franchotetoy.co.za forward slash CV19. Uh, just register, you'll get the link for, for the live broadcast. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you back tomorrow. So tomorrow, just a reminder um, that, uh, where is this one? So tomorrow, 
I'll have uh, Kevin Hinton. So Kevin is from the Collaborative Exchange. Uh, he runs the, or they run the investment forum, meet the managers, those kind of events. And we're going to be talking about having client conversations uh, and, and a lot of things, the whole story about what happened and how quickly they had to pivot. Because the other day we were talking about uh, virtual events, you know, how they went from being a face-to-face -face event to a virtual event in a, in a matter of two days uh, and everything they learned from that process, but also what now, what, how can we use that uh, with the conversations that we need to have with our clients. So looking forward to that tomorrow. So that'll be 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so Vessel, last time for me, uh, thank you very much. I uh, hope you have a fantastic week and please, um, you know, check the chair uh, and uh, I'm glad that your daughter is okay uh, and all of yeah. that. So stay safe. Please keep the things away from your router and keep your internet going. <laughs> so yeah, and keep drinking that tea early in the morning. Almost time for red wine. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. We'll get there. So yeah, Vessel, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for your time. I will, I will chat to you soon, and 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 yeah, all the best. Mm -hmm.